Hey guys, I am back. And so is Bruce Banner by Copper Tail Brewing. This is a triple dry hop IPA. We're gonna get into it in just a moment. Uh, but again, I'm Joe from Beer to Joe's Beer Reviews where I put beers through a four point inspection from visual, going over the label, the aromatics, the taste, and just the overall enjoyment of the beer. Uh, I've been around for, this is going, I think going on my second year. I have not been as consistent as I want to be. Some things have gotten in the way and uh, I'm building a business uh, my other business, Joe the Insurance Guy, and I'm really focusing on that. Uh, but I do like to do this as a hobby uh, on my free time. So uh, we're going to get into this a little bit. Now, Copper Tail Brewing is located not too far from me here in Tampa, Florida. Uh, it's next to Ikea. So if you're in Tampa, you know where Ikea is. It's right there. They have some great brews, they have some great burgers, and just overall cool atmosphere, and a lot of awesome artwork on their building. Uh, also, awesome artwork on their beer cans. Um, so this is an awesome, This I think this is their second year doing this. Um, I could be wrong, um, but uh, Brews Banner, kind of going off the whole um, Hulk, Marvel theme of uh, Bruce Banner. Uh, as you see, he's kind of mixing some, uh, mixing some beer, mixing some chemicals to uh, uh, just you know make just an overall good, a good good beer. And so let's try this out. It's a special, special. Bleh, I'm sorry, spectacular special issue, and he's back. Again, like I said, it comes in at 8% alcohol per volume. So let's try this out. Maybe if I can open the can. My goodness. I am using their beer glass, as you can see, Copper Tail. Usually I use my beer glass, but I got the coasters today. It pours very well. If you do it right. And I can smell, I can always already smell it from here. And I haven't even put my nose up to it. You can smell the hops. You can smell just that overall IP flavor. Um, uh, just the aromatics to it. Smells really, really good. I'm gonna let this go down just a little bit before I try it. I don't know if you can hear my boxer snoring in the background, but that is her. The smell is great, like I said. Taste top notch. It has that overall IPA flavor, but has a um, definitely that it's a little bit hoppier. Um, so it's a, that dry hoppiness, and it's double uh, a double IPA. So it's really good. It's a really good flavor. Um, you know, tell me if, if you've had this beer, um, or if you live in the Tampa area, tell me what, what you think of it. Um, I'm gonna go over my review in just a moment. Uh, but tell me if, you know, uh, any special beers that you've had or you want me to try. I know it's been a while, a lot's been going on with me. Uh, like I said, I've been starting a business called Joe the Insurance Guy. I'm gonna try to work that in um, on that channel as well. Maybe having a beer, talk about insurance. Tell me what you think about that. I know insurance is kind of boring, um, but 
you know, it's, it's something that I'm interested in, something that kind of keeps my family fed. Um, uh, and, um, uh, yeah. So tell me what you think, if that would be something that would be kind of interesting and just having guests back on the show as well. Uh, and then talking about, uh, just my, my random crazy stories. The next review I'm going to do is I have two, two other reviews, uh, that I have planned. One's from, uh, Cherokee, it's, a. Uh, from Cherokee, North Carolina, native brew, so I'm Cherokee. And so uh, I stopped by their brewing and uh, picked up a couple beers there, so I wanted to review that. One from Orlando uh, Brewing, uh, from Red Light, Red Light, uh, from a concert I went to, a concert I went to as a kid, a band, uh, and I went to go see him with my daughter this past summer, so that's gonna come up as well. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and it's gonna be a little bit more chill than it has been. Uh, maybe not as much editing. Uh, so I hope that's okay. Uh, but that saves time for me uh, and for other things as well, for like I said, my insurance business. So that still allows me to do the beer reviews, but not spend so much time and stress out so much over making it perfect. Uh, so yeah, so let's get to the review. Elsa says you're boring and she is sleeping. Yeah, that's my dog, Elsa. Elsa, Princess Poppy Seed Curtis. Uh, she's nine. You also have a dog, Milo, who's 14. Uh, all right. I'm gonna give this beer an eight. So it does get the Beer to Joe's Beer Review rating. I'm not gonna s slap it on, at least I don't think so. Uh, if I do, I'll edit that for you. Uh, but anyways, cheers. Uh, and again, if you're in Tampa, go visit this brewery and tell me what you think. Other beers you want me to try, drop it in the notes below. Uh, on YouTube or wherever you listen to the podcasts. And again, like I say, alcohol is meant to be a gift to enjoy and not as an escape. And so until next time, friends, cheers.